Top 10 Largest Halloween Candy Hauls Number 10. A Freezer Box Full Freezer boxes are usually used for going on trips or picnics, but when your Halloween haul gets big enough, it's one of the best places to store everything. In 2016, after a very successful night of trick-or-treating, this girl got more than enough to keep her going through the winter. The bags of chips on the top hide the full extent of the selection of chocolates and candies that she manages to collect, and it only becomes clear once everything's been poured out. It requires the whole family to get together and sort of haul into different piles. And as well as the Doritos, M&Ms, Kit Kats, and Arrows, they were also helpfully given some cans of Canada Dry and 7-Up to help wash it all down. Number 9. Strategic Planning If you want to maximize your haul at Halloween, the trick is to plan your route with military precision. That's exactly what this next person did, and she apparently spent more than a month in advance to map out her route, and it sure paid off. She managed to collect more than 500 pieces of candy and chocolate, including favorites like Jolly Ranchers, Snickers, Reese's Pieces, Haribo, Kit Kats, and even Swedish Fish. Unfortunately for the girl who managed this in 2018, her parents decided this was more than enough for one person and took most of it away to give to other people, or we suspect, to keep for themselves. This isn't actually such an unusual thing to happen though, and if your parents ever took part of your haul, you were actually unknowingly part of a common Halloween tradition. A survey in 2019 found that almost two-thirds of adults admitted to taking candy from their children after Halloween, and those that did would eat as much as a third of the candy their child had collected. No wonder they're so keen to get their kids to dress up. Number 8. Senior Home the idea of trick-or-treating brings a number of benefits other than the obvious collection of candy. It helps kids interact with others and also brings visitors to places where the residents may otherwise be feeling lonely at that time of year. In Houston in 2019, a Clear Lake senior living home came up with the plan to make themselves the trick-or-treat destination of the year. They asked for donations from the community and built up one of the biggest Halloween candy halls ever. With thousands of pieces of candy in their collection, the next step was to create a social media campaign to let everyone know where the huge hall was, and then they waited for Halloween to greet all of the visitors. By 8 p.m., all of it was gone. But we have a sneaky suspicion some of those residents managed to grab a bucket for themselves, too. Number 7. Charitable Donations Griffin Lincoln has, for five years, taken a different approach to his candy haul from Halloween, and it's led him to collecting huge quantities, all in the name of a good cause. His efforts began in 2010, following his grandfather Joe's death from cancer. The two had a really close relationship, and whenever Joe came home from treatment, he would always bring some candy for Griffin. In 2010, Joe took two large bags of excess Halloween candy to his treatment center as a thanks for their support. And even though he died a few months later, Griffin decided to take on this act of kindness every year. He goes out with pillowcases and trash bags to fill up and, with the help of others in the community, has collected a huge amount. In 2011, his haul totaled 181 pounds. But this saw a sharp increase the next year to 550 pounds. And in 2013, he managed to get 650 pounds of candy. Everything that he receives is given to the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and in total, he's donated more than 2,000 pounds of candy and chocolate to them. Number 6. More Than Two Sisters Can Carry In 2018, two Halloween-obsessed sisters planned their route around the local neighborhood and managed to collect so much candy between them that they needed the help of their parents to get it all home. As is the tradition, they separated their haul into different piles, and it's amazing to see the variety of treats they were given. There were full-sized Hershey and Heath bars, jelly beans, cocoa powder, Oreos, a Kinder Joy, Bloody Bites, Smarties, eyeball gum, and even a Capri Sun. It just goes to show that with a bit of planning and a generous neighborhood, you really can collect a Halloween haul that's too big to carry. Number 5. Largest Collection of Candy Wrappers it's fair to say that, around Halloween, people around the world become fixated on collecting candies and chocolates, but for one Peruvian man, his obsession has reached an entirely different level. Milan Lukic Valdivia lives in Tacna, Peru, 
and since the early 1980s has been obsessed with the wrappers that contain the sweet treats. He decided to start keeping them and in 2015 earned himself a world record for the biggest collection of candy wrappers. In total, he has 5,065 different ones, which includes products from at least 49 different countries. Looking at his wrappers is like a history lesson in candy, where you can see the changing tastes and designs over the years. It's perhaps not as fun as collecting lots of candy at Halloween to eat, but since he's got the wrappers, presumably he must have eaten what was inside it too. Number four, and, uh, Encinitas, California. In 2013, a trick-or-treater from Encinitas, California went out dressed as a werewolf basketball player, and a few days later, even he couldn't believe how large a haul he had managed to collect. After separating the candy into individual piles of 100, so he yeah, counted he more went, than 1,200 uh, different pieces, which weighed a total of 37 pounds. As you'd expect, there was a wide variety of different types of brands, but this is an extraordinary feat for one person on their own to collect. It's enough to cover the floor of his home, and hopefully was plenty to satisfy his sugar cravings, at least until Halloween came around the next year. Number three, student donations. There are increasing concerns that the amount of candy collected by children at Halloween is contributing to health problems. So some organizations are looking at ways to take a part of their halls to use for good causes. In 2010, the Wellesley Dental Group of Wellesley, Massachusetts asked students from the town to donate as much candy as they could spare that could be given to an organization called SKIP, which would send it all out to US troops. All of the elementary schools of the town and those surrounding took part in the drive, and the result was this massive pile. It was estimated to weigh at least a ton and filled an entire room in the dental practice. This isn't the only scheme that collects candy for troops either. Every year, Operation Gratitude sets up drop-off centers around the country to collect excess or unwanted Halloween candy, and by using these donations have been able to send more than 2.5 million care packages to troops stationed overseas in the past decade. Number two, Halloween at Disney. Disney theme parks are some of the best places you can spend Halloween thanks to their not so scary Halloween parties. And if you take a smart approach to your candy collecting, you can leave with a massive haul. In 2018, for example, this girl managed to collect so much during the evening that she was able to completely cover herself with her haul. If it seems excessive, then it makes more sense if you see how the event at Disney actually works. Around the entire park are candy stations, which are huge cauldrons filled with an assortment of types and flavors. Some are hidden, some are only accessible to certain people, and there are even options for allergy-friendly treats too, so no one is left out. It's undoubtedly one of the best places to go if you're looking to maximize your Halloween haul. And it also means you can go on rides and soak in the Disney magic instead of spending all night knocking on the doors of strangers' houses. Number one, a dumpster full. If you're willing to wait until after Halloween before collecting your haul of Halloween candy, then you could well find yourself with far more than would have been possible on the night itself. While places you visit tend to ration how many pieces they'll give out to each trick-or-treater, it's quite common for people to have too large a supply, which they no longer need when the night is over. Some donate the excess to charities, but many others simply throw it all away to get the temptation as far from them as possible. This means the days after Halloween are ideal for dumpster divers, and if you don't mind getting messy, you're in for a treat. In 2018, this candy seeker managed to find an entire dumpster full of wrapped candy that had been thrown away. He filled his entire car with what he managed to salvage, and once he organized it home, he needed plenty of boxes to store it all in. In total, there were thousands of pieces, more than he could count, in what has to be one of the largest Halloween candy hauls made by one person ever. I don't know, I'm not gonna count. I think the most obvious is this box of marshmallows. Uh, don't kid yourself. 